Yo guys, what's going on? Commander Awesome here, and today I wanted to bring you guys a little tutorial on how I record the content for my YouTube channel. Recently, I've been asked in my comments and in my live streams, what program do I use? What are my settings and what methods do I use to record the videos? Uh, so today I'm going to bring you the exact same settings that I use along with the exact same settings I use to render out my videos and the project properties within Sony Vegas. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you everything you need to know. All right, guys, so here we are. I currently use OBS Studio. I'm currently using 0.16.6, the 64-bit version, and I use Windows 10. So first thing I'm gonna show you is how to download OBS Studio. Open up your browser, go to obsproject.com, and then we're gonna to go to download OBS Studio. Click here. I use Windows 10, so we're gonna use Windows 7 Plus. That's anything above Windows 7. Click on that, wait for the download. It's a 94.1 meg uh, file. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna pop up. We're gonna go through all the prompts and click next. You're gonna wanna read everything here before you agree. Click agree. And I set everything to my program files uh, at x86. And then you would click next. Now, if you have a real sense camera, then you would click this. If not, don't worry about it, but you do wanna click the browser plugin. Uh, and then you would click install. I'm not gonna do that because I already have it installed. <clears throat> so let's get rid of this. Now, here we are. This is the main interface of OBS Studio. Now, if you haven't used OBS uh, Studio before, <clears throat> it is much better than OBS Classic, okay? And I'm gonna show you ways uh, exactly how we're gonna set this up. So first things first, we go to profile. We wanna create a new profile. Let's call this, I'm just gonna call it YouTube, okay? just YT. Now I already have it set, so I'm not going to do that. Hit OK. Next, you're going to go scene collection. Do the same thing. YouTube. All right. Bang, bang. You're going to click OK. And now you're going to have your profile set up and you're going to have your scene collection. And up top here, it's going to show you, I have my YouTube tutorial profile uh, loaded and I also have my YouTube tutorial scenes loaded. All right. So over here is scenes. Scenes are basically a collaboration of sources that display on your screen. So for instance, sources or face cams, they're gonna be Twitch alerts or YouTube alerts, um, your display capture, window capture, game capture. Now for the sake of this video, we are doing recording video. So we are going to select game capture in our sources. We're gonna right click on sources, click add and go to game capture. We're gonna click game capture. Now you can name this whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna keep it as game capture, click okay. Now I use for mode, I click on mode and I use capture specific window. Now for the sake of this video, I have squad running in the background. So I'm gonna click on the window and I'm gonna drop down to squad. Here it is, squad.exe, bang. And there you go, there's squad. All right, so now essentially we're ready to record, but I'm gonna take it a little further. I'm gonna show you another step here, just in case you wanted to put a face cam. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click here click add and we're going to click uh, video capture device. All right. And we're going to name this face cam and we're going to click. Okay. Um, now this isn't going to show you my face cam because I have a, an additional um, OBS running and it's blocking it at the moment. Um, but when you click this, you would automatically get a face cam and it would pop up in a square. So we're not going to use that anyway, but that's just in case you wanted to use a face cam in your video. So now we have our recording interface set up. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna go down over to the right hand side and we wanna click settings. Okay, first tab we have is general. You wanna select the language that you prefer, okay? Now the theme I prefer is dark. Default is a white theme. It's just a little bit too much for my eyes, so we go dark. Uh, the rest of these are all preference. You can scroll through them on your own. Stream tab, we do not need. Output, now, when you go into output tab, it's gonna look just like this, roughly. Go to output mode, you click on the simple and you go to advanced. Go over to the recording tab. Okay, we wanna drop down, you wanna type a standard. Recording path, you wanna put your, video, your recording path wherever in your computer that you wanna save your videos. I suggest you use an SSD just for the high transfer rate. 
Next, we want to go down to recording format. We want to click on MP4. And we want to select the amount of audio tracks we're going to use. For this, we're going to use, uh, we're going to have one for our microphone and the next one for our game audio. All right. The next one we're going to have is for our encoder. I use NVENC H.264. Now, you might wonder what that is. That is technology that is used from your GPU that is going to record the program for you. Um, from what I understand, it's only NVIDIA GPUs from starting from the 600 series and up. So anything 600 series and up, you can use NVENC. Now, the, why do I use NVE, NVENC over X264? Okay, well, first off, I only have one computer. Now, NVENC is going to use my GPU, which is gonna basically give me no frame loss. I can record and not even notice that I'm recording. It's the same exact um, technology that Shadowplay uses. Uh, this is just a little bit more in detail as to what I want to do. So that's why I use this. Now, if you do have an extra PC and uh, you want to use X264, go for it. Um, they do say it's better quality. Although with YouTube, I believe they just compress the balls out of any video you put up. So I really don't see the point. Um, if you're using a single computer, you can try using X264. I have serious performance loss when I use it, so I don't use it. All right, next we're gonna drop down to, uh, we're gonna skip these, rate control. We wanna select CQP, all right? Now I use a number of 10. The lower you go, the higher the quality, the higher the file size, all right? Right now at 10, my hour and a half video would probably be about 80 gigs of space. Now you guys might say, holy smokes, it's a lot. Well, guess what? Recording takes a lot of hard drive space, so make sure you have a lot of space on your hard drive. Now, that doesn't mean you have to use this. You can experiment with different numbers. Now, you can go to 15, you can go to 20. It really doesn't matter. Test it out and see what works best for you. I'm giving you the exact settings that I use. <clears throat> I use 10. Now, next, keyframe interval, we leave at zero for auto. Preset, I keep on high quality. Profile main, level auto. Two-pass encoding is checked. Now, a lot of people might say you don't need two-pass encoding for CQP. I never noticed the difference whether it's checked or unchecked, so I just leave it checked. GPU, I leave at zero because I'm only using one. <clears throat> and the next is B frames, I leave at two because that's the default. You click apply. Next, you go to your audio tab. Now, I've read that YouTube really likes uh, 160 bit rate. So I, uh, I use the 160 bit rate on every track. You click apply, go down to audio. Do not look at what I have set up here. I have some funky stuff going on. What I'm going to show you is basic. So your desktop audio device, that is going to be your game sound. Okay. You want to leave that at default. So what's going to, how you find that out, what default is you right click on your little speaker down here. You go to playback devices and this is where your main audio is coming from. I use voice meter, so that's gonna be my main. Now you can come in here and you can actually go down and you can select voice meter. I don't do that, I just go to default. Makes it nice and easy. Same with your recording. You right click, you click recording settings. You go down again, I use voice meter, all right? And so there you go down to your mic and you hit default, okay? And then you can enable push to talk, push to mute, all that good stuff in here, click apply. Next, you go to the video settings. I have you, I am using a 1920 by 1080 monitor. So therefore I am recording in 1080. Now, if you're using a different, um, a different resolution, so be it, that's fine. Um, now, if you're using a 1080p monitor and let's just say for some weird reason you wanna drop down to 720p, you could just click that or any of the others. I wouldn't advise it, but that's completely up to you. Uh, the downscale filter, I use Langsos. It is the highest sharpening filter, okay? Some people say that you can use the other ones. I prefer to just use this, just preference. I think it looks the best. Um, and then the next I use is 60 frames. Now you can record in 30 frames, 60 frames, anything here. I always just uh, record in 60. Click apply. Next you go to your hotkeys. I don't have any hotkeys set up on this specific OBS, 
But just to give you a little heads up, I use F8 to start and stop recording, and I use the Astra key on my number pad to mute and unmute my microphone. That's it. That's all I use. Um, next is advance. Oh, I forgot to say, apply. Next is advance. Okay, we're going to use normal for process priority. And then we want to jump down to YUV color space. I use 709. I feel that the colors are a little bit more realistic. Um, not so uh, bled out, it seems, on 601. So, uh, and then I also use partial. Some people use full on color range. I think that absolutely saturates the balls out of your video. And if I want to add a little bit more color to pop the video, I can do that within Sony Vegas. So I leave this at partial. And then the rest I leave uh, at blank or at default. And then I click apply. So, um, and then you, of course, you know, it's going to ask if you want to save. It's irrelevant. Um, the next you want to do is you want to go to your mixer. Okay. And you see here we have microphone. I have desktop audio too. And then I also have desktop audio. You guys will have microphone and you will have desktop audio. You want to separate these tracks. Okay. So you would hit one for your microphone or it doesn't really matter as long as they're all in separate tracks. Okay. And go two here for my desktop audio two and three for my desktop audio. The reason you want to do this is when you go and, uh, throw this into Sony Vegas or whatever program, you will now have three separate tracks, three separate audio tracks. If you put them all on number one, it will just be one audio track with everything on one. So in order for mixing purposes and the reason that you're using OBS mainly is to get these separate audio tracks. Okay. And that's that. Let's see. Is there anything else I need to show you in here? No, there isn't. Okay. So right now we're going to head over to Sony Vegas and show you the next steps. All right, guys. So here we are in Sony Vegas pro 13. And the first thing we're going to do is come up here to the file and we're going to go to new. And we are going to go down the drop down menu and we're going to go to HD 1080 60i. You're going to click that. All right. You want to go make sure it's at 1920 by 1080. All right. Your field order. Keep it on. Click it on none. Okay. And we want to go to pixel aspect ratio is one output rotation is zero. For our frame rate, we want to highlight and type in six zero. And then we want to go down to pixel format, eight bit, drop down a little further, full resolution rendering quality. We want to select best motion blur. We want Gaussian and dealers method. I use blended fields. We want to make sure that adjust source media to better match project or render settings is unchecked. And then you want to select start all projects with these settings. I renamed mine to YouTube 60 FPS. Okay. And then we want to make sure, let's see, you don't need anything else here really. Okay. So when we're going to click, okay. And we're going to be in this section here. So next thing we want to do is we want to go and we want to drop in some game footage. I go to the explore tab, search for the file where you keep your videos that you recorded. They'll be in here. If they're not hit the refresh view. Okay. And then what we want to do is I'm going to just select some red orchestra two gameplay that I have going to drop it in here. Now mine has already been dropped into the, um, editing window. So uh, I don't have to build my peaks, but this may take a while. It'll have a little, uh, progress bar here saying building peaks. Um, that's all just uploading the video itself. So, uh, let's just see here. So let's play a quick look at one bit. Here you go. That'd be too complicated all right. For most people, but it's impossible to organize Nothing special. That. Now, one thing you want to do when you upload a video or when you put a video into your editing section, you want to right click on the video. You want to go to switches. You want to drop down, you would click disable resample. Otherwise you get these little lines in your video and it looks like crap. All right. So I'm not going to show you an editing or anything like that. That was just one important thing that you needed. All right. The next thing you want to do is you want to hold control and double click up top. And that's going to give you the selection area that is going to select the entire video that is in your editing section here. And then what you want to do is you want to go to file. You want to go to render as. All right. And then we want to go to um, drop it, whatever folder you want to drop it into. Um, you're going to name it. We're going to just go uh, 
YouTube, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we wanted to drop down to Sony AVC slash MVC MP4 MT M2TS AVC. And we want to drop down to internet 1920 by 1080 30. Okay. I already have mine saved. So I'm going to show you that. Okay. And then you want to click customize template on that. Next, we want to include the video. We want to have video format AVC frame size. You want high definition, 1920 by 1080 uncheck allow sources to adjust frame size profile on high. We use K back entropy coding frame rate. You can't actually put 60. It will always default to 59.940. So that's what I select untick allow source to adjust frame rate field order is none pixel aspect radio is one bit rate is the highest that it offers 25999360 number of slices is one encoding mode i put on automatic that way if it wants if it can use my gpu it'll use my gpu if not it'll use my cpu and you want to uncheck enable progressive download next we want to go to the audio tab make sure everything is set up the way you want it system um, this is where you can check and see if your GPU is available for encoding. Mine is not, so we'll be using CPU. Project, we want to go to video render settings and make sure best is selected. And then we click OK. All right. And then also, before you click render, you want to render loop region only. Now, what that is, is that is the selection that we have back here. This is a loop region. This yellow mark to this yellow mark is a loop region. So if you have 15 other things going on on this editing thing on the other side of this program or this process here, whatever's inside these yellow tabs is your loop region. And that is what it will um, render. So if you don't want just that, if you want everything that's in this, uh, that's outside these yellow markers as well, you just uncheck this and you click render. And once you click render, it'll start counting down and it'll start rendering. So guys, I hope that this helped you. Um, if it did, make sure you like and subscribe. Any more questions, leave them down in the comments, uh, comment section down below. And uh, once again, have a good day, guys. Take care.